I was looking at him and I said, doesn't matter how cute you are, you were supposed to be a girl. And so we're never going to be real friends. She was somewhat upset because we had two boys and a girl, and she had her heart set on another girl. And he looked right at me and started cooing and making little noises. So I knew right then and there he'd stolen my heart. I think that's the age that he really started performing, two days old. <laughs> It was like being a rock star. They would just go out and boom, the music would be going, the people would be there, and everything would just, would just flow out. The music was sort of done on its own. Jimmy Hart wrote it, first Sherry sang it, which was excellent and fantastic, and it worked. I think he's cute. Sherry, she sounds better than Madonna. She has really got a voice on her. And then Jimmy, he had the idea of having me sing it. And I was, oh my goodness, I can't sing a note. And he's like, oh, well, we can, you know, even back then, he said they could fix it, do whatever it is we needed to do to make it not brutal. It was perfect. So here you have this guy that looks like he could sing with the village people, right? I mean, he's got the shaps and the, the stuff and the hat and the song. It's just so obnoxious. And he's, you know, and he's out there and there's just this grown man shaking his ass. As a man in the audience, like, I want to beat him up. I can't dance a step. I mean, the dancing that I did in the ring of my entrance is what I got. After that, I don't have a clue. Not one bit of coolness with women or lines or any of that stuff. Believe it or not, I had girls break up with me in high school because I, you know, I didn't like, you know, are you ever gonna kiss me? <laughs> in all the difficulty and the struggles that I had inwardly, that time walking out, that was where I was the happiest. Sean, man, owned it. Sean could have the women drooling and also could have the women spitting at him. Same thing with the men. He could have the men drooling and have the men spitting at him. Sean could be a polarizing character no matter what, and both sides had a very equal argument. But that was the beauty of Shawn Michaels. I could not stand the Heartbreak Kid. I think the song is lame. Why are you singing about being sexy? Everything about it was just like, Whose man is this? That to me sums up how I feel about Shawn Michaels in the, in the Heartbreak Kid days. Whose man is this? That's, that's your guy? I want to talk to Shawn, man, Mr. Michaels, about his music. I think I'm cute. I know I'm sexy. I got the looks, uh, that drive the girls wild. I've got the moves that really move them. I send chills up and down the spine. Just a sexy boy. Sexy boy! I'm not your boy toy. Boy toy! Hands off the so Shawn Michaels is a sexy boy. The song is silly. Sexy, he's a boy toy. He's a sexy boy. He's right. It's silliness, but he did crazy cool stuff. Nobody has ever outperformed Shawn Michaels. I want to be that dude. Sometimes you play that song now and you think back on it, it looks so silly. But that character, to me, broke a little bit of ground of going in a different direction. There's only one heartbreak kid, Sean Michaels out. And I have to say, it's just spectacular. And that everybody enjoys it as a toe tapper. To have so many things be a part of people's lives now, <laughs> you know, I think it's pretty neat. And again, that's not something you think about when you're 15 wanting to get into the wrestling business. Like they're all cloud nine. I'm just a sexy boy.